Alright, time to talk about the flying machine. Anyways. So, this was the Mac Daddy, the big boy, the boss of the boss of balsa wood glider slash propeller powered airplanes. This one I would recommend, not the other big red one that we saw, but this one, the flying machine. You can't confuse it, it's in the box. Okay, so first of all, it's got the large flying wheels, propeller, body, <clears throat> and wings as the big red one. Things that are different are pilot canopy and tail configuration in that the edges seem to be chopped off. Another thing that's different is that this one actually doesn't come with the big round rubber band like you would think, but it comes with two small blue ones. These two small blue ones are needed to take off. They're the only way to get enough power. Trust me, I tried with the other ones. Another thing I like about this one, um, I might have just mentioned it, is that it came in a box which prevents wing warpage like the other one or wing damage during manufacturing and shipping, mostly just shipping. And it makes a great place to hold your plane because you just disassemble it and put it in this box. Carry it around, don't get damaged. Really great. Um, my balsa wood on this kit was about medium density, wasn't super light, wasn't super dense, so I got pretty lucky on that. Obviously, you could fly this thing without a nose, uh, nose gear or a prop if you really wanted, but why would you want to do that? And another great thing is that it comes with an instruction manual, a nice paper instruction manual, but take that off right quick, but you don't need that because right here on the back of the airplane, you have absolutely everything you need to tune it while you're at the park. And here's some helpful hints down here at the bottom as well. Voila. And as you can see, it's already half taken apart <laughs> to go back in the box. Anyways, I would definitely recommend this one over the other big red one like we saw, just because it comes with way more features and some of them I haven't even mentioned yet and let me take this out and I'll show you the final feature I haven't mentioned is the wings right here you have two settings for the wings normal flight and takeoff that's what the instruction manual says but what I'm gonna go ahead and tell you is that this bottom one right here uh, works great just for level flight when being thrown from your hand um, for slow speeds not not a whole bunch of winding maybe 50 or 60 turns for takeoff, I believe it recommends 100 turns with double rubber bands. And it's very difficult to get the takeoff smooth like advertised on the box. Landings are much smoother though because it has nice big springy gears. And um, they're not lying when they say actual size. And uh, it's just a, just a really great airplane. Double, side, double sided printed, you know, flying machine, one side flying machine other side same with the canopy so you're paying more money for this one than you are for the other big one but you're definitely getting more money's worth so the value is about the same and I think the value is a little bit more because of the technical information they give you and what you're gonna learn and you can't really put a price on that so I would definitely recommend this one to go with your collection of rubber band powered balsa wood airplanes and um, yeah I think that about wraps it up Please subscribe for, for more and to keep this going. I would really appreciate it. Um, and if you got this far, please drop a like because I'm assuming you liked it because you watched most of the film. Anyways, thank you very much. Have a nice day.